Hello, YouTube. Welcome to That Much Life CCG Edition with me and Tank. Uh, today I am playing a cleric because I rolled randomly and chose it. And uh, he is playing an elf thief because I said cleric and he goes, oh no, I'm going to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> so Must take all the holy money. <laughs> He's going to take my tithes. Well, in the that tithes case, have turned. In that case, <laughs> I'm sure the tithes will turn. <laughs> And again, we have a uh, decoration here. It is just after the ninth day of Blacksmiths. To give you an idea of like when we play these things, so you can see the, the advent calendar counting down. <laughs> Aha! Holy crap, I actually <laughs> rolled less. I know! <laughs> and uh, if you want to see what Tank got in his boosters uh, for the last few days, he was actually in uh, today's uh, ninth day of Blacksmiths video. Uh, he was also in three days ago, yeah, three days, three or four days ago, and opened a few packs then. Uh, Corey opened his on the front of the uh, Season 4, Episode 7, where we played the uh, Munchkin Age of Sigmar. Which I was mad that I didn't get to do. <laughs> but we, we, we played a two-player, it doesn't really count, we'll do a, get, well, I still haven't shuffled the cards in, so we're going to do okay. a what's in the box with just Age of Sigmar again. Might go up on Saturday then, too. Who's Carl? Uh, maybe, if I'm feeling all right. Yeah. <laughs> See, we work... I work days now-ish. <laughs> Corey works all day. Right. It's like, I work in the afternoons. Brandon works at night. <laughs> Corey is first shift. He's second shift. I'm third shift. It's hard to find a day. <laughs> yeah. And then we have different days off. The only day off we all have together is Sunday. Correct. I run a game with Corey in it. <laughs> Which is why you might have seen that episode that took place at our friendly local game store, Who's Carl? Yeah. Uh, the sound is a little funky on that episode, but still watch it. It's a good episode. Yeah. And uh, that's what prompted me to get the microphones uh, to begin with. So if we play again and we go play the CCG at the Who's Carl, then you'll be able to hear us much better. At least two of us. Well, that's what I said. If we play the CCG yeah. at the Who's Carl, then you'll be able to hear oh, us yeah, much yeah. better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm still trying to get an answer back on Amazon whether you can daisy chain these things to four. Uh, or if it would just go all kafugi on us and explode. So, uh, uh, yes, but explode. <laughs> hey, they're, they're cheap Chinese, uh, uh, cheap, cheap Chinese microphones. They might explode. They might explode. Or give us lead poisoning. <laughs> yeah, we grew up in the Midwest. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more lead. <laughs> I drank out of a garden hose. So did I. <laughs> I lived in a trailer court all my life. <laughs> um, it's like China's coming over trying to like, they were trying to poison all the stuff. And it's like kids in the Midwest are just like, huh, this tastes familiar. <laughs> I take the mulligan. All right. I mean, it was really on the fence, but I just I can't, can't abide. I didn't get any loot in that hand. Crap! I didn't show it off to why. Okay, I got. I didn't get any monsters, and I got very. I got no loot. I just had uh, basically just mischiefs, and so that would have been expensive. Uh, so early game, it would have been crap, and I got no card draw whatsoever. Uh, I did get a healing salvo in there, but like. That's just sitting there for, like, suck up a bunch of damage and then don't do anything. If I'm only drawing one card a turn, then that's not very good attrition. If I had gotten any card draw at all, I would have been fine with that. Because I also got a healing blow in there, which you can pay ex you can pay some of the life that you get with healing blow to give it Encore, but it also costs four gold. Do better. <laughs> hey, it did better. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> All right. I got, I got that, and uh, and and that with it, and uh, yeah, and uh, but I got. I got those, and uh, I got one of those, too. So, cool. <laughs> okay. 
How long is it on a disc? It's a long par four. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got some good cards to start with. The only thing I don't like having right away is that, but he'll come handy. And that's the thing about having uh, the thief. If you have one or two cards in your opening hand that you don't like, you have the thief ability. No. Like, that's actually advantageous to get one or two cards you don't like in your opening yeah. hand. <laughs> Which I have said before. Mm -hmm. uh, I will go second. Alright. Pay one. Did you draw? No, oh, no. <laughs> Chunky Flunky. Aha. Move this out of the way. Come here. <laughs> Goo. <laughs> Zoink. Mm -hmm. oh, but I am going to do house hunting. <laughs> I think I know what I'm going to go get. <laughs> Where are you, my lovely... My, my second favorite location. Bone Depot. <laughs> Such a good location. He's a good location. Which deck is this? Is this the end? No. Well, okay. maybe. It's not that one. Okay. Good. I don't want to throat punch you. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon now has enough in cards he could make uh, the same deck for like a dozen people. <laughs> I think we should do a theme episode where we have to purpose build decks for the episode, randomly roll heroes, and... Like, have to have an in in the deck. You can build the deck however you want, but it has to have an in. Like, you you can pick 39 of the cards, but one of them has to be the end of Improbable Ropes. Yeah. <laughs> I think that would be a very fun episode. I actually want to find out what the, uh, the least useful cards in meta are and challenge you to build decks around them. For least... Chopsticks. Um, yeah, but you've got a deck built around chopsticks. Built around using chopsticks appropriately. No, that's the uh, discount cudgel. Oh. Chopsticks is the bard version where it, it dies on a 1 through 3. Oh, right, yeah. And it doesn't even get to live out the combat. Yeah. The discount cudgel is it dies on a 1 or 2, but it gets to live out the combat first. Mm -hmm. So it can actually still do its damage. It can kill your used card dealer. It can kill your... Uh, uh, Field armor, yeah. dreads, whatever. And then go away. I love the discount cudgel. Yeah. Chopsticks is a one through three it dies. That's a 50 50 chance. And it dies like before combat is over, so it doesn't do its damage first before dying. And I'm like, no, that sucks. <laughs> if I'm going to have a zero star loot, I'm going to put in like a hot potato or uh, a yakety sax. Like, that's a zero-star weapon that you can flaunt. <laughs> it's a 1-0, just like the chopsticks, but you can uh, you can flaunt it and put it out first turn. Uh, and that was both of my gold, so... Ding. I'm gonna slide this way slightly. Hi! I can see myself on YouTube. Toolbox. I look like I licked a light socket. <laughs> Either that or he's just been hanging out with people. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Doc Brown. And it's like, I feel like I have to tell Michael J. Fox to go back to 1985. <laughs> well, he better do it soon. <laughs> <laughs> 
<gasps> Gasp. Mm, okay. Vengeance must foul. He's duck. Is duck. Oh, good. We both have the same amount of damage. That's so only two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's only downside. <laughs> Oh, Your dang. Turn. Can I avoid one of those? Sure. Okay. I forgot I was playing in... Fair play. I forgot I was playing a cleric for a minute. <laughs> All right. Untap. You know, Vengeance Most Foul would probably be at the strongest in a wizard deck. In my kamikaze deck, I might uh, <laughs> I might have to replace something. Take Bone Depot. <laughs> yeah. See, we, we come up with weird shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, for our disclaimer, no, this is not meant for anyone under 13. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is, hey, this is a family show. Don't fucking swear. <laughs> <laughs> About as much a family show oh, as the fucking uh, Kardashians are. <laughs> Keeping up with the Kardashians. I'll put out a toolbox, and then toolbox your toolbox. Fuck you. <laughs> then put out a suction cup. <laughs> That's why! <laughs> <laughs> Ha-ha! It's actually a pretty good play there. <laughs> One. Uh... Bleak. <laughs> Bleak. It is a used card dealer! Ah. Uh, I need my house hunting back. Doink! I'm really <laughs> glad I didn't waste my flunky on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to attack with anything else, and he... I know, but it's just like... Oh, it would have cost you it a gold. It would have cost me a gold. It'd be like, but fuck, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, that, it would have cost him the gold that I just paid for Bone Depot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not paying for Bone Depot. Okay. Instead, I'm going to play Land. Woo! <laughs> land and Bone Depot together. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Where you get two gold on his turn and none on your own. <laughs> <laughs> The Resurrector set. And then I'm going to pay three to skewer you. you. Step! <laughs> I'll avoid the initial. <laughs> Get nice and done with those onions, please. <laughs> I'm going to end on my turn. I require a red wine reduction glaze. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're getting barbecue sauce. Be aware. <laughs> Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. I say, is it at least Casey Masterpiece? <laughs> no. <laughs> YouTube, I have a confession. When I make pulled pork, it's delicious. Oh, God. He's had it many times. It's okay. amazing. But I commit Kansas City blasphemy when I do it. Because it includes both Gates and Casey Masterpiece barbecue sauces. <laughs> <laughs> because I like the, the spice profile in Gates, <coughs> but it's too runny. Mm -hmm. And Casey Masterpiece is made with molasses, so it has the right stickiness quotient. It just doesn't have enough flavor. It doesn't have enough spice in it. Yeah. Like heat spice. It has, a, it has a really good flavor, but it doesn't have the right amount of heat spice in it. So you put them together and it's amazing. It's actually worth trying. <laughs> but it, just on that though, like, you know, I on anything else, like I choose which sauce to put on it because it's different for other things. I like both. I love both. <laughs> Kansas City born and raised. <laughs> I didn't move out to Topeka until I was 23. Are you done, sir? Yes. Okie dokie. It took you long enough to move out here, too. <laughs> Lawrence, then here? <laughs> no, it was here, then Lawrence, then back here. Oh, okay. Actually, it was here, then back to Kansas City, then to Hayes, 
What then the, back here. What the then fuck Lawrence, were you doing in Hayes? Nothing. <laughs> because that's the main pastime in Hayes. Yeah. What well, was I doing? <laughs> what, what was I doing in Hayes? James's ex. <laughs> Here's the thing for ex-girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right now it's kind of weird because he's dating his own ex. <laughs> <laughs> Four times removed. <laughs> Last month was technically our fourth first date. <laughs> You know what, though? No regrets. Let's see. You've, you've been with ex-wives, ex-girlfriends. <laughs> Hell, there was a chance that one of the children was yours. <laughs> we did math. We did math. <laughs> it took math to figure that out. <laughs> Just a little bit. Not like calculus math. <laughs> Am I going to do house hunting again? <laughs> In. <laughs> we all have a past, people. I'm almost 42. You got a lot of past. <laughs> The it key, could be worse. The key, <laughs> the key figure in this is when I'm with somebody, I'm with that person. All right. So, in House of Indulgences, Tax Heaven, it's still stuff on reckoning. And then, uh. No, I didn't get my. Oh, yeah, land! Because I use one of mine to pay for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, land. I don't know if that changes anything. <laughs> Sorry, I just. If you're wondering the face I'm making, I just oh, looked wait. over at his recipe box, <laughs> and the one at the that I can read through the box is stewed stew. Yes, my mother made stewed stew. It's delicious. If you're wondering what I just did, I said house hunting, and I discarded the wrong card. Hopefully, you didn't see what it was because it was the wrong mischief that I put out. <laughs> I actually used house hunting, and then I looked, and I went, did I draw another house hunting? No, wait. Where is my... Shit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and then when he was looking away, I'm like, hee hee I wasn't doing anything nefarious. <laughs> he was totally doing something nefarious. <laughs> He's breathing. You can go... <laughs> you can go back and look. I said house hunting, and then threw down that card, and no one noticed, not even me. Uh, For a good long time. One. That's <coughs> mm. probably your other fucking. Come on. <laughs> Bring Is on that your card dealer? Do 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 do. I'm trying to think if there's any locations left in there. I don't think there is. I think I'll just take back the toolbox. And... I'll put out an 11-foot pole! Sheet. He's going to poke me with a stick. <laughs> to death! I, uh, I said that one day I was playing against Corey. I don't think we filmed that one, but... Uh, he had epic loot out... And uh, I put out an 11-foot pole, and we, we were playing a, a warrior mirror match. So we put out epic loot, and so all the weapons were worth one more. So it's actually a two-power 11-foot pole. And then uh, I put it out, and I put Crushinate on it, 
which gives it an extra plus two, and then I thwacked him with it. Because he put out a monster, and you have to use thwack during... No, you, you you don't have to use thwack during... You have to use crush innate during a combat. But it doesn't say you have to put it on a committed weapon. So I, I just let the combat go. And he had enough, like, I put... I, uh, I had the 11 foot pole, I put uh, Crush and 8 on it, and then I thwacked it and hit him for 4, and he was already at 16 health, so I poked him with a stick to death. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and that was all my gold again. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Done. Land. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pay for it this time. Okay. And then you draw two. Now, uh, draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And then top deck one. Okay. And then during reckoning, take one damage and gain one gold. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, so I'm going to pay three for Robin Hoodlum and Mercenaries. Oh, I didn't take my bleed last turn. My bad. Someone's calling me. I do not know this number. Yeah. Is it local? No, it's a Kansas City number. <laughs> Call it back later. Yeah. <laughs> you have all the allies. It's a pole duck. <laughs> ah, okay. Pole duck. <laughs> so it takes one, and I take two. Yeah. And I block one, so I take one, and I will avoid that one. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Your turn. Groovy. All right, land. land. Four, three, four. Six, six. I got on your turn. Seven, yes. And then uh, take one damage and gain a gold. And then pay one for Bone Depot. All right. Draw your cards. Draw my two cards for that. Then draw my two for the House of Indulgences. And top deck one. And then draw for my two. <laughs> oh, and take him back. And then that. Man. And then then then. And then and then and then. And then. No, I did. Oh, then. I did. Have I did have a, a location left. Yeah, that I'll play later. <laughs> In the meantime, though, I'm gonna reverse this skewer upon you. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and it go. It's as though I had just played it. So you do take the initial damage. Um. I'll go ahead and do Silent but Deadly. What does that do? Squish target card stuck to your hero card or your loot, and the target opponent takes one damage. Okay. I still take the initial. Okay. <laughs> but she's still taking another skewer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that was pretty fair. <laughs> Yeah. 
Now I'm going to play this here healing salvo. And get back. Four life! I'm good with that. Screw you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, look, I just unbled a lot. Oh, my. Clean bandages. Clean bandages. <laughs> Clean bandages. <laughs> yes, he's a Fallout fanatic. <laughs> Got the Pip Boy version and everything. Your cats look goofy as hell when they're drinking. They look goofy as hell all the time. That's they're true, my babies. Fair enough. They're my babies. And the little knuckleheads over there licking the plate. <laughs> they're in the windows. <laughs> he does that too. <laughs> he's not wrong. Well, I mean, he's the fun, the the dirt road out of the fucking cul-de-sac. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you described him. The well-worn footpath <laughs> out of the evolutionary cul-de-sac that was his parental unit. Uh. Robin Hoodlum. Oh, well, it is a leecher. Yay, I take gold. <laughs> and he dies. He dies. <laughs> and I lifeo suck the two out of him, so I'm back to zero. Oh, cool. <laughs> duckies. <laughs> duckies. <laughs> Just duckies. <laughs> and then... No, I'm then. <laughs> I'll go ahead and play... The Plains of Pain. Ouch. <laughs> when any hero hires a monster, all heroes take one damage. Five. <laughs> Put that back in my hand. Okay. Land. Land. Take a damage. Uh, yeah, it is a, you take a damage and take a gold. And I'll give the gold to you. Give the gold to me. Because <laughs> you want one, Depot. Um, oh. There it is. Well, yeah, you draw two, you top deck one, and then you draw it for your turn. <laughs> All right. No, I've already drawn my card for my turn. Draw two. Okay, drawing for your turn is last. All right. This is done on Reckoning. Right, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Me too, medallion. Uh -huh. I think I have enough card draw right now. I thought he said me. Me, 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 me. Bring us a shrubbery. <laughs> you must ask your parents. You must cut down the Actually, no. tree in the forest. If you need eyes. to ask your parents, get off this fucking channel. <laughs> You're too young. <laughs> well, no, that's ho that's your homework. If you haven't seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail, go watch it. We reference it a lot. We do. I can't also, believe, I it's can't, a classic. I can't think of anyone under 16 who hasn't seen it, though. <laughs> it is the epitome <coughs> of what happens when your DM starts telling a real story and the whole thing just goes off the rails and he goes, fuck it, everybody's arrested. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed the the worst fucking player base. <laughs> just like, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy has to be a... <laughs> a a, a uh, D&D future game. <laughs> With the blessed mummy reps. Or, oh wait, no, sorry. I thought it was my turn for a second. I'm still contemplating this monster. Oogie boogie boogie. Oogie boogie boogie. Oogie 
Would you shut up and let him lick your ear? <laughs> <laughs> Stop chewing on your brother's head. It's a, it's mm. a juicy head. <laughs> <laughs> Both weapons. All right, fine. Duck. Did you, I did, and it dies. Uh, yeah, but it's still got four damage on it now. Yeah, but my damage goes first. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I lipo suck one. Oh, I don't have any damage to suck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Can you skewer me or something? I need some damage. <laughs> hmm. Is it another duck? <laughs> Ducky. Hey, look, it's another duck. <laughs> Four right. damage. I'll avoid one. All right, some damage to heal. <laughs> Sweet. God damn it, fair. Thrill as I lifo suck the marrow from his bones. Boot to the head. Ooh. Take a damage. <laughs> Zoink. And then spill two. New. My thingamabob. <gasps> And a curse reverse! No, I needed that. <laughs> well, I'm not bleeding at the moment. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. <laughs> you only have one gold. You can't skewer me right now. You couldn't even play a combo rat right now. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Draw. I'm good, thank you. All right. <laughs> But you shouldn't be. Because <laughs> he might have yet a third duck. Your turn. Alright. Unshap. 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 Uh, oh, that's after reckoning, which is for, uh, uh, quite a lot right now. So, damage. Take gold. Land. <laughs> Land. Land. Uh, pay for Bone Depot. <laughs> Why would I pay him one when it refers me to a medallion when I could pay one to get two cards on my own turn? And then draw two for the House of Indulgences. Oh, did you hired a monster? We both take a damage. All right. And I will put that one back and then draw it. Okay, now I can put out those blessed mummy wraps. And hmm. 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 Well, my, my little laundry might actually be done in the washer. Five. Shit. I am definitely committing. <laughs> Hair flunkers. <laughs> well, that's that's awesome because it's the new Seraph in town. <sighs> <laughs> remove all tokens from each hero. Then move ten tokens from the stockpile to each hero. Then remove this from the game. So right now we're both at ten damage. Correct. Which means I may have done four damage to myself, but I did six to him. And since he heals... I do, don't I? <laughs> and it cost him a gold, and his flunky took no damage. One. Mercenaries. Mercenaries. <laughs> it's a used card dealer. Oh, but I have a healing salvo in here. Oh, I also have a thing in my bob. Nah, I'll get a healing salvo for now. <laughs> Zoink. Hey, look, healing salvo. I have two gold left. <laughs> Five. <laughs> 
Things that worked out perfectly. Volume 8. <laughs> oh, I did hire a monster, so we're, we were actually at... 11. Wait. No, because that's when the monster is hired... So the monster effect would have gone off afterwards. Yeah. So it would have moved us to ten. So it actually didn't affect it. Yeah. But this one did because I just hired a used car dealer. So we both take one now. <laughs> okay. Six. Done. Land. Land. Thank you. Bone Depot. And then, uh, did you take your golden damage? Yeah, uh, not yet. Oh, top decking. No, golden damage. See, that one's just on your own reckoning, not the other person's reckoning. So you don't get, like, two more gold. <laughs> Pick up your duck. And he did the entire turn in the in the uh, the entire warm up phase in the wrong order. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> no. <laughs> like that picture I always send to Corey when he can't come over. I go, Corey, come over for much. He goes, Nah, I'm doing a thing. I have to be an adult, and I send him a picture of me do going like this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Two you say. Yeah, we're the Goonies, but all of us are replaced with Chunk. <laughs> yeah, childhood obesity. <laughs> well, no, we've got Corey. That's sloth. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, harsh. I love you, Corey. <laughs> You'll never see this episode. Because <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Every once in a while, he catches one. It's actually kind of funny. Mm. Two weapons. Duck. Bye, duck. <laughs> Lipo suck a duck. Is that third duck? <laughs> <laughs> Plus, said mummy wraps. Avoid to prevent two damage, then heal two. So effectively, nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we both take a damage from each of those monsters that you hired. Yes, yes, we do. And I'll avoid one of them. <laughs> We're actually on turn seven. All right. So I'm supposed to have another gold. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I screwed up and didn't. So I'm ending my turn. What? No, we're going to seven. No, we're going to eight. No, we're going to... Why am I six? I don't know. Yeah, we're going to seven. Yeah, we're going to seven. <laughs> okay. So I did do math right. Yes. The, the, the gold is weird because we get a lot of gold yeah, exchanging yeah. hands on the reckoning. All right. Unzap, unzap, unzap. Land. Land. Not me too, medallion. 
<laughs> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> uh, take my damage, my gold. Um, do I need Bone Depot right now? Yeah, why not? I'll pay for Bone Depot. <laughs> so draw my two for Bone Depot. Oh, that's three. Okay, and then draw two for the House of Indulgences. And put one back, and then draw it for my turn. Epic. So I'm going to go ahead and zap the Resurrector set. Hey, go get some ducks. Put more duckies in my hand. Alright, you'll never guess what I just drew. <laughs> so it cost me a total of six gold. Dr. Meow practice, Dr. Meow practice, missionary impossible, missionary impossible. Shit. Two, four, six. symbol. Holy symbol! And I will zap it and pay a gold to heal two. <laughs> Which means I healed, so I'll do that to take for you to take two. <laughs> I'll zap both of these guys to unzap my Dr. Meow practices. He's going to heal again. Healing salvo. <laughs> Six. I go back to zero. You take two more because Dr. Meow practice. <laughs> and that cost my last two gold. Best turn ever. <laughs> so now on his turn, if he hires two monsters, he dies. <laughs> my turn. Uh, yes, seven. So, land. Oh, no, if he hires one monster, he dies, because he has to take a damage and a gold. <laughs> and that, and then land. Did you want to buy Bone Depot? I did. Oh, that's why, I handed oh, that's you why you handed me a gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to get rid of the Me Too medallion. Okay. Clobber knocker. <laughs> Yay. K3. Skewer. Oh, I'm skewered. <laughs> you put damage on me. How dare you. Well, all I got left is to smack you. Okay. No use in drawing it out. <laughs> I'm going to go out with a bang. <laughs> but I wanted to kill him. with a bang, he said. <laughs> I 
I'm running away. Well, <laughs> in that case, I'm going to pay two and play two stabity stabs. <laughs> okay. So you take four. Okay. I'll avoid one. Mm. All right. Kill yourself. <laughs> Necromancer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to kill you in the most humiliating way possible. By hiring a used car dealer for no damage. And then the planes would kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you ran away from? What did I run away from? Blar. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go out on Blarg. That would have been kind of cool. The, like, the, the two, like craziest ideas that I had. One, use the used car dealer and like just kill him in the most humiliating way possible. Uh, two, uh, the bluebirds of bitterness, which the monster uh, effect would kill him too, because all heroes take two damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other one, which would have made the game about ten minutes longer, is I had another new Seraph in town. Which would have put us both at ten again. And I had enough healing in here to get back down to zero again. And just let him play. <laughs> I might have actually stabbed you for that one. Because <laughs> I also had two leechers. So, you know, that's a whole heap of liposuction there. And I had uh, I had another toolbox to make his clobber knocker go away so he couldn't, like, smack me to death. Uh, also, I had a bootleg booty just to make his clobber knocker heal me while going away. <laughs> so on my turn, I would have unzapped everything, and then I could have killed him with non uh, non combat because I could just zap my holiest symbol and my kitties. Why do you would grumble at Brandon all the time? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun deck. I really like when I can actually get the new Seraph in town off. I've only actually gotten him off like a couple of times. I think once against Matt, once against Corey, and now once against you. But I started my. I took that mulligan. It was the best thing I did because I started with two used car dealers. I started with Blarg. That was the one I wasn't sure about. And I was wow. Like, well, I'm surprised you didn't you you didn't thief him away. I thought about it. And I was like, mm. then you had land. Then I had land. Well, land, land he I got you up to five later. gold real quick. Yeah, I got land later. So, but starting with two used car dealers means I mm. effectively have infinite used car dealers. Because as soon as I, as soon as you kill one, I just put out the other one to get it back. Yeah. And then if you kill it, I put out the other one to get it back. Until you're out of weapons, then I start going for the stuff I really want. Yeah. <laughs> but the yeah the uh, the draw where I got I had a missionary impossible in my hand for a while, and then. In that one Bone Depot House of Indulgences draw, I drew two Doc Meow practices and a Missionary Impossible. So I put them all out at once. <laughs> and I had enough stars of space to put out the holiest symbol because I got rid of the uh, uh, mummy wraps for that for that duck. So that that's kind of what uh, what you're supposed to do with Cleric is to be able to just absorb just an, a, a crazy amount of damage. Which is why I have it set up just like this. This is all the locations in this deck. This is like a weird cover song version of a cover song because this is based on a deck that Matt made that was inspired by the... Uh, the deck of uh, of where the hell are we? 
Like, he made one with the inn in it to put, like, five or six uh, locations in to have fun with, and then I just drew from that and made my version of that. So this is, like, three steps removed from the where the hell are we day. So this is how we know we have a narcissist that we're dealing with. <laughs> he made a tribute to a tribute to himself. <laughs> They asked Tenacious D, they said, how did you get Dave Grohl to play Satan in your tribute video? And they went, oh, it was easy. We just went up to Dave Grohl and pulled off his Dave Grohl mask, and there was Satan. <laughs> oh, there was, there is one more location in this deck. It's the Flaming Foyer. Oh, God. Where all heroes take a damage every Reckoning. So that would have just tripled the amount of damage that you take on Reckoning. <laughs> More bootleg booty. I never got my Holy Ghost. Okay, uh, oh, I'll admit, that is a good deck. That's Bleeding Without Bleed. Yes, it really is. Because uh, I didn't get my other thingamabobs. Because the fun part is to get my thingamabobs and both of my holy symbols out. Oh, God. Both of my holiest symbols. So it's like, heal two. Heal two. Unzap them. Heal two. Heal two. That is an eight, uh, eight life swing. On my own turn. Oof. <laughs> or on your turn, if I have them unzapped. If I really need to and I have them unzapped, I can do eight, and then you pass the turn, I get eight more. That's a 16 life swing. <laughs> plus bootleg booty, plus healing blow. That's going to be called your lay on hands deck. Lay on hands. <sighs> Those of you who play D and D will know what that is. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. I mean, the healing blow is fun because it's the it's the only non barred card with encore. You have to pay extra to give it encore, but it's the only non barred card with encore. I've noticed that it seems like cleric is a lot of ooh I like that I'm gonna steal it from I'm gonna steal it. I am requisitioning this for the Inquisition. <laughs> what a show. But it's got the uh, the leeches. More in homework there. for you guys. <laughs> we reference a lot. Of yes, the, yes. The the history of the Monty world. Python, Mel Brooks. Is, yeah, I know it. I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> Curse Reverse is such a fun card. Keep firing assholes. <laughs> Curse Reverse is such a fun card because it just you, you like oh skewer and re skewer, de skewer, re skewer. Step, 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 <laughs> step, 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 step. God damn it, I'm starting to smell like onions and garlic. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to do a project where I try to make a uh, Where the Hell Are We deck with every hero. And just put in three ins and just let it ride. Hmm. <laughs> like three ins and a... a but isn't the and end, a mnemonic tutor? Isn't the inn a cleric card? No, it's the actually inn, a gray. Yeah, the inn is gray. That's probably the single most powerful gray card there is. It's my favorite card. It really is. Yeah. It the all of the W rares are gray. It is a. It is. It is. My favorite card in in the entire CCG set. It is just it's absolutely fa like one hundred percent is my favorite card in Blarg, and like I'm like ninety five percent is my favorite card in the whole thing because I just love cards that fundamentally change the entire game, and the fact that you can only have one location in play at a time and that just throws that out the window. I adore rules. That. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> we won't be needing that. <laughs> uh, like, uh, and then you have uh, other things that can change up stuff and just like crazify it. Uh, like uh, the chump dump that the first uh, ally is one less every turn because you could just throw out Doctor Meow practices and and uh, Bob's all the day long. And, uh, like the, uh, uh, epic loot is fun, um, the lodge of complaints that make all of the, uh, all mischiefs worth, what, cost one more, uh, 
the edifice of enervation, which I've recently grown a, a very large attraction to. Um, that sounds t- so dirty. Giggity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where all monsters have one fewer power. And uh, that's in my wizard so- sorcerer surcharge deck, which is super hilarious because I can make it so that dreads cost you five gold to put out and does no damage. <laughs> can I just say, uh, you can see now why, now that I'm actually fully in camera. You can see why I'm always so bitter towards him. <laughs> he is six years older than me. <laughs> Does this high twitch bother you? Because it's bugging the crap out of me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got this Eddie Munster Widow's Peak when I was like 14. I started balding on the back of my head when I was 12. And it just stopped right there. It just <laughs> But yeah, that uh, that was my crazified lay on hands. I like that because uh, up until now it was a tribute of a tribute <laughs> cleric deck. But tell me what you think of that one and all of the uh, heal and crazy that's in there. Uh, I'm going to tease at some point we're going to do another rainbow deck episode because I have built another rainbow deck. I tried it out against Tank, what, about a week ago? Uh, about three, four days that. ago? Yeah. And uh, it completely decimated him. Yeah, I didn't even have a chance. Not a chance in hell, and uh, it is the it is the same idea as one of my other decks, just dialed up to a hundred and crazy percent. In fact, isn't that the name of the deck? A hundred and crazy. I mean, I'm uh, yeah, it's uh, tentatively called the hundred and crazy percent deck. But but I mean, I don't really name the rainbow decks right now because they're again thought experiments. They're yeah. they're not canon. Uh, I would like to do those at Nordcon and just go, hey, build a rainbow deck, and we'll meet back here in an hour. Yeah, <laughs> that would be amazing. Yes. So uh, tell us what you think of this game. Tell us what you think of rainbow decks. Um, tell us I what you think of get any the, celebrity players. The twelve days of Blargsmiths. Um, to just whatever, just talk to us, you two. We love you. You know, talk talk to us. He loves you. We're listening. He loves you. He really does. Hey, the channel was his idea. Uh, I have to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> the entire channel was his idea, and I just ran with it. So uh, be sure to like, share, favorite, subscribe, pay more, and send us money. Be excellent to each other, and we'll see you next time. Later.